Okay, so today we are talking about ZBrush Core Mini. What is ZBrush Core Mini? So it is ZBrush on a diet, more or less. Yeah, think of it like uh, Lightning McQueen from Cars, right? It's fast, it's built for speed, kind of. But I find it simply amazing that ZBrush did this. There are plenty of YouTube videos that have been created since its launch that are really knocking ZBrush for one reason, and that reason is that it is for non-commercial use. Plain and simple, it's only for learning. You cannot sell what you make in ZBrush Core Mini. And I'm here to tell you, I think it's okay. That's absolutely okay. So just as these YouTubers have their opinions, just like I have my opinions, ZBrush can create this wonderful tool and put that in the license agreement. Absolutely okay with me. I am a teacher, so I'm super excited to use this in my curriculum at school. I teach high schoolers computer animation, and we dive into ZBrush. And there are so many instances where uh, the ZBrush UI, just trying to get in basic sculpting, is hindered because ZBrush UI is just so foreign if you've never used it. So the first reason why I think ZBrush Core Mini is absolutely fantastic is the fact that it is incredibly easy to use. And I know, I'm sure you're thinking, wow, he's probably been using ZBrush for years. Of course it's easy. While that's true, my 10-year-old hopped right in, um, as well as my 8-year-old, and I gave them the instructions, hey, I want you to create whatever you want, and I just pointed them to the brushes. Hey, these are the brushes. You can change the color. Here's the draw size. And then I told them to hold um, Alt or Option to dig in instead of pull out. Other than that, it was up to them. They had a blast. They've used Sculptress before, but they kind of got tired of it. They stopped using it pretty quickly because there was just too many buttons. I've let them use ZBrush before, and even more so, just far too many buttons and drop downs and sliders and windows that expand upon windows. So this allowed my eight year old and my 10 year old to just be creative. And that alone is super, super incredible to me. And the second reason why ZBrush Core Mini, I say that a lot, don't I? ZBrush Core Mini, ZBrush Core Mini, ZBrush Core Mini is incredible is basically the UI is just the bare bones. You know, you have four brushes. You've got a couple materials that I will no, never use. Um, saving, opening, um, all the basic stuff. And then I love the updated UI to like the draw size, right? It's got the tiny little dots that you can see on the screen now uh, for a small brush size. And then they just gradually get larger. Super intuitive. Everybody knows what that means, more or less. Same thing with Z intensity. Um, the other really cool... UI feature is the low, medium, and high buttons at the top middle of my screen. You should be able to see them. So when the active polygon count gets too high, you can just press low, medium, or high. And I think what it's doing is just decimating the mesh. In ZBrush, as you guys know, you would have to pre-process the current subtool and then decimate and pick the percentage. This is like, oh, if I want to go to a lower value, let's click this, a medium value, a high value. So it's super, super slick, and it just allows for a lot of creativity really quickly. So the third and final reason why I think ZBrush Core Mini is fantastic is the sheer power of it. It has stripped all the things that most people won't even use, and it allows this access to the power of ZBrush for free, which is super incredible. And there are so many videos that say, oh, why would you get this? just get Blender. Well, that's true. I would not use this in my pipeline. Um, I own an indie game studio, and I'm not going to use ZBrush Core Mini, but I think it's fantastic for students, hobbyists, anybody who's like, I don't have a grand to buy ZBrush. I don't even have whatever it is, 150, 200 bucks for ZBrush Core, which I would not recommend, by the way. I'll make another video on that. This gives them access to something super, super powerful, and it gets their feet wet which is hugely incredible. I'm pretty new to sculpting in Blender, but I was ultimately unimpressed. And some of you guys have posted some wonderful comments and I need to give it another look, but this is super amazing. So to wrap things up, I think ZBrush Core Mini is incredible. 
because one, it's easy to use, two, goes along with the first one, it's simple and intuitive UI, and three, the power of ZBrush accessible for everybody. Plain and simple, in the story. Go get it. Download it now. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe.